So first, I'm gonna present to you the mods that I have. The recording software I have has a 30 second limit, so I'll have to uh, give it a try. I'll have to squeeze in it and squeeze it in for 30 seconds and see how well I do. Hey guys, this is K Minecraft the One, and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today we are inside a little uh, dome thingy. <laughs> Don't know what to call it, but today I'm gonna show you how you can get my mods. In the beginning, I never thought it would be you when we were chilling. So the banking mod is actually a very easy mod. You can actually finally use money other than diamonds and emeralds and all that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so now you can finally say, like, block of stone. You can pretty much say that, or you could say, diamond block or. One dollar. So yeah, that's the banking mod. So the card game mod is a very brief mod. It's only got 14 items, which are the cards, and the one block, and that's the table right here, which you can use entirely for playing card games. I should have made stuff like poker chips for those of you who wanted to play poker in the game. <laughs> that would have been interesting, you know. So the cards are not that hard. I mean, it's easily playable. You can just drop them on the table. It's that. So the Clash of Clans mod, or in this case Clash Craft, has a few mobs and a and some items, preferably the uh, mobs tools, that has got gold, elixir, dark elixir, the storages, and you can even get them as an ore and craft them into their own block. These are just the uh, brief storages, this is the inside of the gold storage. Yes, you can actually see the inside, I don't know why the walls disappear, but that's just what happened. So, just don't worry about... The Enderman Moving Company mod is actually quite an easy mod to go over. It's just got the uh, Enderman Moving Company box, which isn't really that big of a deal, but it's also got the Enderman Moving Company mob, which is just the uh, worker who's just an Enderman. Oh yeah, and the logo. <laughs> so nothing really to worry about that. Alright, the half the Heroes of Olympus mod is pretty tough to explain. It's got the Olympus and Underworld realms, yes. This is a thing needed to ignite it. So it's pretty tough to explain. We got the tools over there, blocks over here, and I'm currently wearing some of the armor that's in it. Celestial bronze, Imperial Gold, Stygian Iron, and Silver armor. So yeah, that's pretty much the mod. No sp So here is the LDS Temple mod. There's really nothing that huge about it, other than it's got marble, so you can build your own little LDS Temple. I created this because I myself am LDS. There's no real surprise in that. It's got marble, marble ore, marble block. Yeah, all that sort of jazz. Alright, so this is the Lego brick mod. There, there is a little bit more, like, no, a lot more Lego bricks than these. So there's, they can even stack up on each other, the studs disappear. This is the material needed to craft the Lego bricks, the molten plastic. 
So yeah, that mod was actually very simple, except for one mob, and that is the LEGO Store Staff. So, this is the Magicality mod. It's got wands that can magically summon stuff, especially that end portal drum water lava and stuff. These are some of the rare materials. We got Luminescence, which doesn't glow very bright. Revive a Medium, which kind of revives you. Strikes Lightning. And then this two Strikes Lightning. So yeah, that's basically the basics of the mod, as you know. So that's... So the Minecraft Tanks mod is based off of the game Pocket Tanks, as you can tell, it's got these little miniature tanks that you can't ride in, unfortunately. It's got like this shop where you can buy tanks, buy tank objects, as you can tell. So it's kind of a fun little mod if you want to destroy people, but I wouldn't recommend it. So, the Rubik's Cube mod is, or as it's known as, Rubik's Craft, is a little bit more difficult because you got like these tiles, you got the tiles, you got the Rubik's Stand, and you even have shuffleable, or scrambleable, whatever you want to say, Rubik's Cubes. So, we got a scrambled 3x3 three three and 2x2, two two, so it's not that hard to achieve or get. So there's not really that much to the Sonic Transformers mod, it's just a little made-up mod I created. There's just like Energon, Dark Energon, Allspark, Food, Energon, and Dark Energon stand. I don't know why I'm destroying them. Sorry! <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much the mod. So the Studio C mod is not that hard to describe, it's just a Studio C block and the Studio C logo, or the banner, or whatever you want to call it. So that's pretty much the mod, that's as easy as it, I can say. So this video was based off of Mystery Guitar Man's Epic Toy War, which he he starred Final Cut King in, so it's a pretty cool mod, it's just got crayon ammo, boppy gun, which uses the crayon ammo, it's even got like a Simon Mine, which can blow up when triggered by redstone, and that. I keep cutting holes in the ground. I'll have to suck suck up this one the best I can. This is the Global Warfare mod. It's got three mobs, a few items like a bomb that's sadly defective. It's got guns, a sword, some fabric so you can craft some wonderful armor like what I'm wearing right now. And it's even got bunkers that actually have gravity. Except for the gem bunkers. That's about all that don't have. That's about the only thing that doesn't have gravity. So, so in order to create or get my mods, you just need to go to the official M Creator website. And then you just gotta find me. In this case, I'm currently logged into myself. So you just gotta find me. You just gotta be able to find me inside. And then whatever browser you're using, just find me and then you can go into one of my mods. In this case, I'm just gonna go into Minecraft Tanks, which has been which has been downloaded four times, but it's got the description, it's got comments, and you can even download the mod, which is right here. So pretty much that's all you gotta do in order to download the mod. Just find me. You can even do that by going on YouTube. Going on YouTube, and there should be one tab 
up here that has MC on it, that's for M Creator. Click that and you'll go straight to my profile. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. If you really like that, just subscribe. Go and download my mods. I do not care what you do. So, whenever you have the chance, just go and download the mods. You know, do it. And I will see you next time!